What is going on, fellow Oaks? I'm Chris Marcus Geek One has you to bed with the video. And uh, listen, guys, let me tell y'all something. Right now, your boy is really drained. Your boy's tired. Well, not drained, but your boy's tired right now. Your boy's got done, you know, grinding and stuff like that. You know, back on the grind, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get me a bag, you feel me? Trying, I'm just going to stop. Yeah, I mean, you guys see what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, man, I am a little, I am tired, though. Your boy just got off work and all that good stuff, man. You know, just trying to grind, just grind it out. You know, you feel me? Just working hard, doing what I got to do to succeed, man. So, um, Skirt Tag decided to drop a uh, death battle today. I actually, I know this was, they were teasing this. I, I, I wasn't really paying too much attention to it. I kind of forgot about it here and there. But it's Ghost Rider vs. Lobo, Marvel vs. DC, and then Marvel vs. DC fight. I feel like they've been doing a lot of Marvel vs. DC fights lately. I don't know why. But, I know recently we, do, we did that Aang vs. Uh, Edward from Full Metal Octomus. So, I mean, eh. But still, I definitely feel like they've been doing a lot of Marvel and DC stuff. I don't know. I don't know cool with it. Shoot. I like Marvel vs. DC stuff. Um, but, um, yeah, they decided to drop this, and I kind of wanted to check it out. caught my interest. I didn't really care too much about the Anger vs. Edward. A couple of, yeah, it's been, I know it's kind of been a minute since, I, since we reacted to Death Battle. I think it's, like, since, what? Well, who was it? Uh, it was Shazam again, and uh, Captain Marvel we reacted to last time. And that was, like, a, like some months ago, so it's kind of been a minute. So I figured, like... Why not, you know, get back into react to some death battle stuff? It's been a minute and all that good stuff. And, um, yeah, I remember back then, they used to make these all the time, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't really, yeah, I just kind of want to take a break off and start just focus on different, you know, kind of content and all that good stuff. Um, uh, no, hey, yo, thank you guys so much. You guys, yo, that Demon Slayer reaction review, fam? Y'all really love that video, huh? I'm trying to, uh, Edit my reaction videos a little bit differently. I'm trying to like you know like trying to have more, try to edit them a little bit differently. I saw I, you guys really seem to show a lot of support. Then we got the Richard Bryan reaction, almost at 400 views. Oh, man, you guys are just killing it, bro. The Rich Bryan 100 Degrees reaction video, bro, almost at 400. Yeah, like almost 700 with the uh, no or 600 views. I think I forgot how many views we got at that. But anyway, it don't matter. Thank you guys so much. It's you know, I mean, it matters. It matters because like, you know, thanks to you guys, of course. You feel me? But um, you know, you guys are awesome. You know, I really appreciate that. You know, I, I you know, you guys were grinding. We had we, and we had six hundred eighteen subscribers too. Dang, we had six hundred eighteen subscribers. Bruh, bruh, six hundred eighteen subs, bro. We're almost a, bro. We're getting closer to that thousand, man. I, I, we, we gotta hit a thousand subs, but we like we right there. We gotta hit seven hundred first, but we're closing in on that thousand, a thousand subscribers mark, though. We gotta hit that. We have to hit that, man. We grinding for that, bro. One K, then. Yeah, man. Dang, grind don't stop, bro. Let's get back into it, bro. So anyway, we got. Ghost Rider versus Lobo, Marvel versus DC, uh, Death Battle. If you guys do, do enjoy this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, go to the channel, and uh, all that good stuff. So, let's get on with this video, shall we? Have you tried 23 and Me? It's not really tell you an anime about your Death Battle. Genetic information, about. health, and traits. It's super easy, and the results are legit. You can find out all sorts of good little oh, secrets about like yourself. 23 and Me reports do not diagnose disease or describe overall likelihood of developing any disease. 23andMe tests selected genetic right variants only. Visit 23andMe.com right, slash death battle for important test God, information. God, 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 Order your health and ancestry kit at 23andMe.com slash death battle and, and you can make your so. genes in over 125 yeah, personalized genetic reports. That's the number 23andMe.com slash death battle. I'm not like a huge fan of Ghost Rider. Nah, he's saying a robo. You, I didn't catch up on one piece. Speaking of that, too. Whether it be justice, vengeance, or the thrill of the kill, bounty hunting isn't for the faint of heart. Especially when your usual hey, targets dope. are Batman. superheroes. The Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. He, well, I would love to see him the Ghost Rider. And Lobo, Lobo, the Lobo. Space Hog and Main Man of DC Comics. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. 
I'm gonna keep it at me. I actually love Even to see. Even at a young uh, age, Johnny Blaze lived cold. life on the edge. Son of the accomplished like cyclist where, uh, Martin Blaze, he was sadly witness to his father's death great, in a like, stunt gone wrong. But he got adopted it was by another stuntman. It was mainly by the director with that film. Uh, That's sorry, pretty much I mean, it. I feel like a lot of people didn't like it. It's no surprise that Johnny became a stunt performer himself. Jonathan Blaze. Until Chris's wife died in a stunt gone wrong. Only now apparently aware that motorcycles can be dangerous, Johnny swore to never perform again. And then Crash got cancer. Damn. Even I don't have parent issues this bad. Completely Dang. devastated, Johnny refused Very to let Crash man. die. Willing to risk it all, he turned to the one person who could fix everything. Everyone's favorite problem solver, Satan. Hail Satan. This no, was boys, one no. of the many lords of hell who happened to have a special hey. interest in Johnny's family line. To save Crash's life, he cut a deal with the devil, curing the devil. cancer at the cost of selling his soul. The deal succeeded, and Crash was healed, but then he died in, well, a stunt gone wrong. I mean, he's a stuntman whose name is Crash. Should have seen it coming. And after yeah, all that, yeah. Johnny got stuck with being Mephisto's bitch for eternity. Mephisto even sandwiched him together with a demonic spirit of vengeance named Zarathos. Zarathos, ask your doctor if it's right for you or your exorcist. Long ago, Zarathos was a powerful demon who threatened Mephisto's realm. Eventually, Mephisto defeated him, forcing him into eternal servitude. And with their power combined, Johnny and Zarathos roamed the world, punishing the wicked as the embodiment of a death metal album cover, The Ghost Rider. <laughs> oh, oh, God, that's terrifying. Well, sure, his visage yeah. instills fear onto many. What? No, Ghost Rider looks awesome. I'm talking about Nick Cage. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. Anyway, as the yeah. Ghost Rider, he became one of the universe's greatest threats. He has superhuman strength and speed, and his skeletal body can regenerate from practically any amount of damage. That is true. I mean, you see damage you see that from the first two films of Ghost Rider, fire. and how oh, but the people take all types of damage and stuff. Hellfire. The best kind of fire. The kind that's infused with magic that burns not just your flesh, but bypasses conventional defenses to attack your very soul. He can throw fireballs, raise walls of flame, rain fire from the sky, and even conjure weapons and objects out of thin air, such as a demonic shotgun and an infinite stream of chains. And his badass ride, the Hell Cycle. This baby can look however Johnny wants, but he usually summons it as a panhead chopper. It can respond to Johnny's thoughts, scale walls, and even outrace Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. The same hammer that crossed a galaxy and back in a single minute. You know, Man, I lit bro, my chopper on fire too, once. When you think about I it. didn't know you had a motorcycle. Well, well yeah, up in, until the fire. Uh oh. Uh, Rest in peace, so, Roadhog. So, At least you went out in a blaze of glory, like Bon Jovi said. But while his hellfire and chains are vicious weapons in their own right, they're often used to ensnare the Ghost Rider's victims as he goes in for a truly diabolical kill. Or should I say, yeah, it'd be a crazy, penance. God. The Ghost, penance I'm not there is basically Ghost Hell's Rider, but you can't. Of pain. Ghost Rider is in he's, he's, he's just, just something disappointed, else, and he wants you to think about what you've done and it to hurt. A lot. Under the pen and stare, the Ghost Rider forces you to relive all the pain and misery you've inflicted on others throughout your entire life. No indiscretion, no matter how minor, is safe from the Ghost Rider's gaze. So that time I put ground laxatives in my fourth grade math teacher's coffee and gave her the shits. Does that mean the stare would give my soul the shits too? Not oh literally, my but gosh. you would experience the anger, humiliation, and the butt cramps. So, basically eternal damnation, got it. But should your sins be so numerous and terrible, the penance stare could even obliterate your soul, leaving you an empty husk. The stare doesn't work on everybody, though. You might survive if you're blind, don't have a soul, drop power from pain, or if you're a weirdo like Thanos who gets off on that shit. Still, Ghost Raiders grab bag of hell powers, let him tear up some of the biggest assholes in the world, and even some of the good guys like Hulk, Thor, and Doctor Strange. He's quick enough to dodge bullets or even That's outright true, catch too. them in his teeth. That's He's true. powerful enough to create massive eruptions, blow up mountains, and even tear down a skyscraper. The average yeah, skyscraper man. weighs well, over 200,000 tons. I, I feel like That's the same weight as 1100 whales. Or 1x5. 
Marvel never put it in the MCU that much, so they don't give you a chance to see what kind of like. I don't know. Well, that's poison. Fire beast survived it all. Even a big deal from World War Hulk just got even more pissed and hated for what he's doing. Remember Zarathos? Johnny Blaze isn't simply a host for the demons, but a limiter for his full power. Throughout his life as the writer, Johnny has constantly battled Zarathos in the mind, barely holding on to some semblance of sanity. Should his will to resist the demon falter, Zarathos can't take full control, and all hell breaks loose. Not literally, but pretty close. Oh, and plot twist, Zarathos was never actually a demon at all, but an angel of justice. Firestorm and ended everything. Like when he's I'm unleashed, he becomes so powerful, even Doctor Strange no, wins his robe. Know, and this is know. the guy who pumps I, I, supernovas I, 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 like Pez. While well, Zarathos was bonded to another host, like that, they even managed to defeat like, Mephisto like DC, in his own realm. It, like, For that, reference, like Mephisto Marvel, once battled but, Galactus, devourer of worlds. Stars detonated, galaxies trembled, and the entire universe was at risk, simply as a byproduct of their battle. And if Zarathos wasn't terrifying enough, he likes to more, like, so, the of course, the Ghost Rider isn't that, um, invincible. Johnny is technically the, vulnerable as an ordinary human being. Even while transformed, the writer can be oh killed via holy weaponry. Yeah, but Johnny is doing all right, sitting pretty on Mephisto's throne. I guess things God, worked out okay know, for him, bro, even if he's not know. too keen on being the devil's yeah. bounty hunter. So let this be a warning. Should you ever hear the rumble of a motorcycle in the distance and the glow of an ethereal flame on the horizon, count your sins, because the Ghost Rider is coming. And may God have mercy on your soul. Sorry. All out of mercy. Let's turn the clocks back to a distant era of sin and debauchery. The 1990s. Inspired by the financial success of Watchmen and The Dark Knight Returns, comic writers started churning out grim and gritty superheroes by the dozen, like Cable, Azrael, and Overkill. Yeah, they were badass looking at first, but I mean, what's even happening here? It got so absurd that someone needed to knock these roided out monstrosities down a peg. The world needed a hero. No, a parody. Enter the planet Zarnia, once the brightest beacon of peace and happiness in the universe, until its inhabitants were annihilated by a biological catastrophe, leaving only one survivor, the last son of Zarnia, Lobo. The one that killed so all the rest of them. Look at this guy's set. Uh uh, all right, so he's like a bounty hunter, three, three over three hundred pounds, aka the main man. They were bastards, <laughs> like dolphins. And look, they got it. Got die, 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 a lot. <laughs> Okay. Guy whose That's name really literally really translates in Zarnian to <laughs> he who devours your entrails and thoroughly enjoys it. What? Awesome! Why wasn't I named that? Lobo is so <laughs> unimaginable hey, that his birth caused the midwife who delivered him to go insane. The first Zarnian to do so in 10,000 years. Some even think that Zarnia was so perfect and good, the universe made Lobo to balance things out. Hey, didn't you say the same thing about me when we first met with? That I did. Simply put, that Lobo I did. <laughs> was unique and desired to be even more so. Thus, he ensured he was the only Zarnian alive in the universe. I fragged the rest of the planet for my high school science project. Gave myself an A. Yeah, wow, how about that? How about that? Awesome. Lobo he gave himself an A on his science project, okay. Become a bounty hunter, probably because it's the only profession that legally allows him to murder. Uh, don't worry, he'll murder you illegally too. Lobo doesn't discriminate. He even has a special gender-neutral insult in the name of my next motorcycle. Bastitch. Anyway, Lobo's bagged some pretty crazy bounties across the universe, including Santa Claus, two near omnipotent dwarf gods, and even things that don't exist. Apparently. And Lobo's Zarnian physiology is just as absurd to match. He possesses godlike strength, speed, and invulnerability, so much so that he can tear through hordes of superheroes like nothing. Should he somehow suffer damage. Uh, sorry about that, guys. We're back. Which uh, is a lot more terrifying when I say it out loud. Uh, Did somebody say Deadpool? Uh, no, go away! <laughs> uh, 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 there. He's gone. Did <laughs> somebody say oh. Deadpool? Wow. Well, Bro, I'm I didn't done. think you had it in you. Oh, honey, that's not true. Haven't you heard? No one's ever really gone. 
See you later. I swear to God, I'll kill him someday. <laughs> so, uh, you had the replacement plan on that TV, right? <laughs> um, back on topic, Lobo can regenerate from a single drop of blood, and each one he sheds will actually grow into a completely new Lobo. What? No, Seriously? I'm not making that up. No wonder there wasn't any war in Zardia. Nobody can kill these friggin' bastards. It helps that he's also he's a super genius, genius, genius who knows well over 17,000 languages. He can perform yeah, complex physics equations them, well. in his head quickly enough to catch the flash, and can build planet-destroying weaponry out of garbage. His brain is no joke. He can resist mind control because he's too ornery, and he's got uh -oh, so that's much not good because Ghost Riders were Ghost Riders one of the one of the main attacks is like mind powered control by kind of thing. Power. But, yeah, kind of my control. That's not Lobo good. Is a master so that's a, that's how you by his own admission, deduce the weak points in any opponent. Oh, uh, like weak points? So what's like Ghost Riders then? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I would have gone with your crew. Comes equipped with guns, knives, swords, grenades. So this guy is like an all the time. Bro, bro, he's good with it, bro. He's nice with it. Whoops. Ghost Rider might be. I don't know. He's going to have a hard time. I don't see Ghost Rider winning. As much as I would like I would like to see that happen. Lobo just sounds like a whole different type of breed. He sounds like a different breed. He can resist mind controlling. Bro, well, look at that, bro. I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Wait, 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 wait. How can he sing in the vacuum of space? Oh, that's where you're drawing the line? Not the time he, say, pulled the alien entity Solaris out of the sky. Excuse me. Sing in the vacuum of space. Oh, that's where you're drawing the line? Not the time he, say, pulled the alien entity Solaris out of the sky, which is as heavy as a star, despite lacking leverage? I like how he even admits that didn't make any sense. Using a small to medium sized <laughs> star like our own sun as a reference, Solaris should weigh nearly two octillion tons, over 300,000 times heavier than Earth. So, pretty tough to bench press. But how about the time he was fighting some rabbits and then he got so face meltingly angry that he just straight up ate a city? Bro, girls gotta can't do stuff like that. It's not healthy. Drink them away instead. This ain't a fair don't fight. Do I don't know, man. But that is trillions of tons of steel and rubble. They've been on a Lobo for a month. The They've been describing all these moves for a month. This man got all the That compressed ball should be over 20 times denser than a neutron star. What? Oh, God, imagine that coming out. This unimaginable strength lets him brawl with the likes of Superman. He, Ghost Rider lost. Superman is like the strongest. This man is the strongest hero in the, bruh, in the DC Universe. Hey, yo, if he could, yo, know, if Lobo could go toe to toe with guys like Apparently. Superman, I don't know, man. He can go toe to toe with guys like Superman. How does that sound to you guys? He can keep up. He could, he could throw hands with the Superman, bruh. That is just straight up crazy. Scratching the surface. Put some respect on that, man. In DC Comics, and it's likely Lobo's kicked their ass. He can even punch ghosts. Sounds like the only thing that can kill this guy is an act of God. Not even that. After rampaging through heaven and hell, tearing through armies of angels, demons, and what have you, Lobo's bloodlust on a literally biblical scale got him banned from the afterlife. As in, death was told that Lobo's soul was not to be collected. So right. he just can't die now? Not in the traditional sense. He's had his head disintegrated, been reduced to a skeleton, even been turned into a spirit that just kept on fighting until he got his body back. Well, they've been the on him for a long time. Really Lobo got this. Back is his this ain't a fair fight. I'd be surprised if Ghost Rider won't get him. I don't know if Ghost Rider won't get him. Ghost Rider won't get him. Seems pretty weird for a cosmic madman, man, man, but man. he also loves dolphins and will let him. Who'd he beat? Is it He beat Supergirl in arm wrestling. Wow. Ban from okay, cool dinosaurs. Man, it's all logic. Devoured a whole city at once, wiped out the dinosaurs, survived battling the mass. The whoa, the me dang, I don't know. He, he, yo, he said, Wow, and the mass is actually very OP, too. Legally assassin <laughs> defeated Superman. Damn. Namely, yeah, he'll always piece. keep his word, no matter what. Seems pretty weird for a cosmic madman, but he also loves Why dolphins and will literally go to hell and back to protect them, so... Who even knows 
shows anymore. He's not without his failures, though. His greatest of which was perhaps something entirely out of his control. His reboot. What the hell does that scrawny emo Edward Cullen ass looking dork? That's New 52 Lobo. A serious, tortured, modern interpretation. Everything that Lobo was meant to be a parody of. Thankfully, someone at DC developed a sense of irony and literally shelved this loser. The real Lobo returned better than ever and got back to doing what he does best. Kicking ass across the universe. He's not just some stupid alien villain. He's the main man, and the whole universe knows it. See, someone's paid me a heap of cash for your carcass, and the main man always delivers. They didn't say no weaknesses. All right, the combatants are set. I didn't say right, man. Through all possibilities. But first, rev up your engines for this delicious food deal. But Blue Apron... By now, you've probably heard of Blue Apron, the leading meal kit delivery service in the U.S. Choose your meals each week, get the ingredients delivered to your doorstep, and whip up a meal using the easy-to-follow directions provided. Check out their summer menu and try out their customer-favorite plant-based burger with the Beyond Burger. I never thought a plant burger would be a good idea, but I was totally wrong. You gotta try it. And there's plenty more to love about Blue Apron. My favorite part is feeling like a master chef, making creative and delicious meals with my own hands. You guys really need to try it out. It's pretty nice coming home knowing I'll have a delicious meal I can whip up with ease. Yeah, Blue Apron yo, he says the that every Blue Apron video. You do the cooking, video. and the result is truly beyond. Yeah, Blue Check Sticks out this says that every Blue Apron 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 says that Listen, bro. He said, he said, miss me with that. He picked them off, too. That's crazy. Ghost Rider got with him, though. He got right with him. Bro, I want Ghost Rider to so bad, but I don't know. I just, I just, just hear all that stuff about Lil, bro. It's like, I don't know. Can he really win? We'll see. I mean, we'll see what happens, right? I mean, like. Right, he, bro, like I got said. Listen, Lobo, no stranger, but it comes down to my controlling now. He, he ain't no stranger now. He's not a stranger when it comes down to that. My man's don't play. Oh my gosh. Oh, he the John. Oh, he ate him. Not yet, Scuzzball. Yeah, I mean he's been through this before. Now he's about now. Uh oh, uh oh. Now multiple are right here. Oh snap! I forgot about that. Ooh, he turned his tables on him now, I see. Yo, Ghost actually won that. Wonder what go 
knows Lobo tastes like? Being so absurdly powerful, Lobo definitely held a massive physical advantage against the Ghost Rider. Yeah, yeah, that was obvious. Skullhead took down a skyscraper while Lobo dragged around a freaking sun. But Ghost Rider survived some pretty incredible things. Almost as incredible as these new shirts from store.roosterteeth.com. Ah! Time and place, Boomstick. I gotta eat. Even World War Hulk couldn't finish him off, and Lobo didn't typically carry any holy weapons, which meant he really did not have a good way of killing ah, the Ghost Rider. Ah, that's true. Ghost Rider be carrying all these magical, magical behind. Yeah, I definitely can see that. Say that um, Ghost Rider was the, like the underdog going into this fight, but like for sure though, I don't know. This made it seem like Lobo just had more attacks. I guess I don't know. Lobo has more attacks, but Ghost Rider has more like quality. More like, like, like magical. You know, cause like Lobo, he got he has his he could, Lobo kind of has like his, his your your typical stab, your typical chain. Ghost Rider got these magical fiery. I don't even know what to call them, bro. He got these weird behind uh different types of like staffs and swords and like not swords but like chains and all that crazy stuff. Lobo got your typical regular standard and stuff. And on top of that, I guess once, like, like once Ghost Rider entered that second state, bro, like, there was no way Lobo was fighting out of that this, the, the second time. There was no way Ghost, when Ghost Rider go transforms into that, bro, it's over, bro. It's over. You're not, you're not bouncing back from that, man. Yeah, but who needs holy weapons when you're strong enough to crush a whole city? Couldn't he just overpower Johnny? A good question. However, do you recall how powerful Zarathos was? Zarathos was an equal threat to Mephisto, whose battles tore apart the universe. Once the Ghost Rider released his true power, Lobo's physical advantages hardly mattered anymore. But hey, the main man was super smart and probably could have figured out Johnny's weaknesses. But how is he gonna escape to find a holy weapon somewhere when the Hell Cycle outraced Mjolnir? Which yeah, once crossed the Milky Way and back crazy. in under a minute, a feat more than 100 billion times faster than light, more than capable of keeping up with the Space Hog. They were both as unkillable as you can get. But since Lobo was banned from the afterlife, how could he ever lose? This is where the fine print matters. Death was banned from reaping Lobo's soul, but that doesn't mean the soul itself could not be destroyed. This is where our research surprised us the most. It turns out the Ghost Rider had three different methods of specifically targeting Lobo's soul. His hellfire could hurt the soul directly, and since it ignores normal defenses, Lobo couldn't really stop it. With trillions of murders on Lobo's hands, the Penance Stare could wield extraordinary power against him. And while Lobo had a high pain tolerance, he did not enjoy fatalistic agony and unending torture so much that he'd survive all of that at once. Yeah. Even if he did, he survived it, but it was a lot to do with. There's only so much he could take. Easy as that. Lobo was undeniably a difficult opponent to take on, but the Ghost Rider's cosmic might, unholy invulnerability, and soul-rending powers gave him the perfect tools to take out the main man. That poor bastard didn't stand a ghost of a chance. Ah, <laughs> sorry, I knew that was a Lobo. The winner is Ghost Rider. Thanks for watching this episode. Right, if you want the battle music for yourself, you can get it by clicking the link down below. Also, if you like animated content, check out the new Rooster Teeth animation channel. Just click that box right over there. Got some great stuff. Oh, shoot. Okay. Alright, so alright guys, so that was Ghost Rider versus Lobo. Um pretty good death battle was definitely pretty solid. Next we're gonna have what? A Dragon Zor versus Mecha Mecha Godzilla. Okay, that should be an interesting one. But anyway guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys think Lobo or Ghost Rider should have won. I'm happy Ghost Rider won. I thought bro the way they were describing Lobo, you would think this man was about to give my man's Ghost Rider the worst, but you know. I'm cool with it, Ghost Rider. Hey man, I, I like I said, I want to go. I was rocking with Ghost Rider from the rip, but you know, you know how that goes. But um, anyway, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like, comment, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay safe, stay fresh. It's by Marcus Key One, and um, yeah, Buzzy, I I might upload another video today. I'm not too sure. Hmm. I don't know. I might upload another video today. I'm not too sure, honestly. But 
We'll see what happens. But like anyway, guys, you guys stay like I said, stay safe, stay fresh, my works are going, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. If I'm all about today, I'll definitely be about tomorrow. So yeah.